Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Drizzy Dre. Oh my goodness, I, woo! I have not said that in such a long time, I feel like. It's been like, what, maybe a month since the last time I was here talking with you guys. Man, I have missed you guys so, so much, man. It has been super crazy since the last time we spoke. I think the last video I made was the uh, Air Jordan 12 playoff pickup. And that was like the last time y'all saw me. So I apologize for that, but I'm here, I'm back. Uh, but before we get into today's video, I kind of want to give you guys a new new life update. Basically, that's what's been going on uh, with me and my lady. Uh, for one, I am no longer in California. For those who may or may not know, me and my lady, we did officially made the big move. We are back. Well, not back, but I'm back uh, here in Detroit, Michigan, where kind of where it all started for me with my sneaker collecting and my whole entire beginning. Uh, so this is a new state for my wife. Uh, she has never really lived in another state anywhere else other than California. So we did make that big drastic move all the way over here. We drove to Michigan. It was pretty crazy what we went through. We went through like three storms, guys. Three different storms. We went through a, a snowstorm, a rainstorm, a high wind uh, storm that involved like a nearly a tornado warning. It was crazy, dude. And my wife was not familiar with any type of tornado, so that was kind of crazy to drive through that. Uh, but it was a good experience. So we literally drove across the country from California all the way over here to Michigan. It took about, I want to say like uh, two and a half days. We would have made it in a day really, but uh, with the stops and with the rest that we needed, uh, that's kind of what the reason why we made it such a drag with the two and a half days. Uh, but yeah, uh, we officially made it over here. Uh, this is pretty much the new setup, guys. This is a new temporary studio setup. Uh, I'm really excited to show you guys. After when I get discussing about all this stuff I got going on here, uh, I kind of would just take you on this little tour of what's going on, where I'm at, uh, to see the progress and everything. So we'll, we'll get into that much later. But I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been reaching out to me, asking me uh, how I've been, where I've been at. Uh, I know I haven't been out posting lately, so I'm really sorry about that. But hey, I'm back. The grind is here. I'm ready to pump out some new content, some more videos for you guys. Um, but I'm good. I'm safe. Me and, my, me and my lady made it over here. So we're uh, eager to start a new life, new chapter over here. I want to say, guys, too, the content is going to be crazy, super, super crazy. The videos I got in store for you guys is, is going to be something. I, I can't uh, express how excited I am about it. I want to get into it, but I don't think I'm going to get into it right now. Uh, I kind of just want to wait to let things open up a little bit more. And as I get more details, I'll go ahead and share with you guys. Uh, but yeah, man, like everything's been pretty much been good. You know, we just finally made it over here. We're trying to get settled. We've been, we've been over here in Michigan for about three days now. Uh, I just want to go ahead and kind of just get on the camera and just like talk to you guys, man. I just want to get out here and just see how you guys doing. Thank you about the, all the love for the, of the channel too. Guys, when I left, when I, I think my last video I made, it was like, uh, I think there was 90, I want to say, not, yeah, 90 subscribers I had. Now that I look back at it, it's crazy. I have like 117 subscribers. It's amazing. So I just want to say thank you guys to uh, sharing so much love to the channel. While I stepped away, the channel literally grew over 100. So I know I'm really excited to, to have a bigger audience. Uh, to share with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and just get into today's video one more time. But before we get into today's video, I'm going to need you guys to smash that like button. Comment down below to see. I just want to talk to you guys. It could be by anything. I, where you guys been? How you guys been doing? You know, I'm good. So I just want to talk to you with you guys. But drop a, a comment down on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, it's your boy Drizzy. I'm back. There's going to be more content. So if you are new over here to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you guys can see more dope videos by me. I want to go ahead and get into some stuff that I have been copying lately. I have, well, for one, I should have not been buying anything during this move. I told myself that I was going to just like chill and just focus on the move and let all my money go to that. Nah, I, I, I'm sorry. I admit it's been pretty bad for me. You guys know us sneaker heads, if something releases, it's kind of hard for us to put our hands in our pocket and walk away. Uh, I'm sorry, but I got a, a couple things to show uh, you guys. I'm super uh, excited about. Uh, for one, I want to get into, I think the last time we spoke, I told you guys that I copped the Supreme Burberry deck. Well, it came in the mail uh, later on that week, and I wanted to show you guys real quick, but this is the Supreme Burberry deck. I absolutely love this. It's going to be a dope decor piece. 
uh, here in the new studio. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put it at, but uh, yeah, this is the new Supreme deck. It has that Burberry, uh, you know, Burberry monogram going on. And of course, this is Supreme right there. Nothing much to it. It did come with a box logo. Oh, I have it upside down. It did come with a box logo. Uh, and then it has like the Burberry uh, London, England. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says the London, England on there. Um, so I really am excited. I think I wanna go ahead and get into some of the more clothing pieces I got. Um, also, speaking of Supreme, I did get a Supreme hoodie. Uh, this was a couple weeks back, I believe, but this is one of the drops. Uh, I got this hoodie because for one, I love the hoodie. I love, I, nothing like really special. It wasn't a collaboration. It's just a Supreme hoodie, but I just loved how it looked. And uh, of course it's black and yellow. So I was like, yo, I got a lot of yellow shoes, you know, lightning fours, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I was like, yo, love this. It's definitely a dope piece. It's good quality too. I like it. So yeah, I mean, there's nothing much to it. It just says Supreme New York on it, uh, NYC, nothing on the back as well, but it's just a regular, it's just Supreme hoodie, but I love it. It's an extra large. Uh, I copped it like with ease on the Supreme app. So um, it was a pretty much a dope, um, dope cop to me. So nothing really crazy. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next piece. Another piece that I did grab, uh, from Happy Memories Don't Die LA. I don't know if you guys know the brand. Some of you may or may not know the brand that started the mesh shorts. The spring and summer is coming very soon. And of course, what you guys are gonna need is gonna be some shorts for the summer. But I did grab uh, the Chicago socks uh, mesh shorts. They're just black with the gray and the white. So I was like, oh, easily I can pair this up with almost any of my shoes. And then I did get the Boston as well uh, shorts. I might make a separate video about these shorts just to talk about uh, the brand, uh, talk about how they feel, how they look, and also give you guys different uh, fits with it. I also wanna show you guys how to style with these shorts. These shorts are amazing, guys. They're, they're not no regular, like, cheap mesh shorts. Like, these are some super high quality shorts, and they look really good with almost anything you wear, especially with sneakers, uh, vintage tees, whatever you wanna throw on. So uh, I might make a separate video about that. So I'm not gonna go in too in depth about it, but I did got I uh, did grab these. Uh, I want to say about a week ago. So they did come in the mail. So I'm really happy to have those. The shoes. We do got some new shoes. Of course, it's Drizzy Dre. Of course, we're gonna have some shoes here. Okay. So uh, the first shoes I want to get into. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you may have seen these uh, a while back, but I did get my girl uh, the Del Sol Air Jordan 13. Uh, these are the grade school pair, but uh, yeah, I was able to score her a pair on the Foot Locker app. Guys, I actually hit on a lot of pairs. I didn't purposely do that. Uh, like, I didn't want to purposely go after many pairs, but I actually did. Like, I think I had like five, six pairs of these on my Foot Locker reservation app. I didn't go grab all five, six, because I was like, I'm not going to spend $200 on some like bricks, in my opinion. But I did grab these for my lady. So these are the. Uh, Air Jordan uh, 13 Del Souls. It's really nice. I like it. Like I uh, really like them. I think they're not bad for me, honestly. Like they're really cool for the ladies. Uh, me personally, there's a couple 13s that I, I'm a fan of, but everything else is pretty much like eh. But uh, I, I thought it was pretty a cool addition to add to my ladies' collection. Two, there is another pair of shoes that I did get her. I'm actually super jealous about because I told myself I was gonna get a pair of these before her. And uh, I got a pair for her before me, which is like, bro, like, I told myself I was gonna get myself a pair. But these are the Air Jordan, uh, Air Jordan 3 Cardinal Red. If you guys may have these in the collection, but these guys are freaking gorgeous. This is a grade school size, but these are freaking gorgeous, man. I absolutely need a pair of these. They're not bad at all. I got the jump man on the back of these. Uh, love them. I love the color and the quality is not bad too. I don't really see bad quality, honestly, on Air Jordan 3s. You know, Air Jordan 3s always kind of pump out like the same uh, type of quality over and over. So I don't really have much bad to say about that. But uh, yeah, these are the Air Jordan 3 Cardinal um, that I grabbed. I believe it was off the reservation, uh, Jordan reservation that went live on a Nike app or Nike sneakers app. And I was able to uh, cop those with ease. I should have got my size, but I was like, no, it's okay. I'll just grab them for her and uh, she loves them. So I have three pairs of shoes that I want to get into. So if you guys uh, seen a couple weeks ago, we did for Air Max month, Concept did release all of their uh, Concept Air Maxes. Man, let me tell you, 
I tried every single release for manual and it was a disaster for me. I don't know how people were checking out so fast. I don't know how people were able to uh, cop with like less than a minute. You know, you get those cues uh, less than a minute and I see people check out with ease and I'm over there stuck at like five minutes, seven minutes. Uh, I didn't cop any of these shoes for manual. They, these were all resale. Uh, thankfully, the first two pairs were not crazy high, so I did grab the first pair, uh, well, the first two pair for a, from a local reseller back in the Bay Area. I actually have a video of that, so I'm actually gonna throw that in right now so you guys can see that, and then we're gonna come back and I'll go ahead and unbox these for you. I am on my way to go meet up with a guy over here around my local area. I'm supposed to uh, be buying the Concept Air Maxes off of him. Really excited to look at those. My girl right now just jumped to the car, so sorry about this loud noise. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to go ahead and meet up with him over here at the Walmart parking lot. We're supposed to meet up at like around 2 p.m. So I'm gonna be going ahead and filming that uh, meetup um, of the process of me buying the shoes from him. I'm really into the heavy uh, Concept um, Air Maxes. Those are the ones I'm really interested in. The Mellows as well, but but I'm kind of like big iffy on the fence with the whole like green out sole on the toe box. So we'll see how they look in person. But I'm about to go ahead and jump in the car and then I'm gonna pick up this vlog once I meet up with him. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, go. all right, guys. So we pretty much all said I just basically just copped one of my favorite shoes from this year. Uh, Air Max Day was yesterday. Uh, I'm so happy that I was able to get my pair. I think these are super, super clean, guys. You guys gotta comment down below which I think of these. Yeah, I like these. Yeah, I think this is like one of the best uh, concept uh, collaborations they have done in a while. Personally, I think so. Like since like the SV Dunks, this might be like the second best ones, honestly. But I gotta look for the third pair, the one that came out yesterday. I'm really hurt I didn't really was able to score uh, score them for retail. Uh, but I do got two out of uh, the three, so I gotta look for one more. But I heard too, like if you do get the third pair from the concept website, you do get like a special box of packaging, which I actually would like. But if not, it's cool. I'll still take the regular box. Box, which I think is still super fire though. Look at the box guys. This box is super fire. And then this is the heavy pair, uh, the heavy um, pair, but these are crazy guys. Just look at the detail, man. Absolutely bangers, dude. Like I have no idea how I'm gonna be like pulling this off with the fits. Like probably with some khaki pants, like with some brown, you know, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out in a bit. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna wear these, so it's gonna be pretty crazy. So um, just wanna go ahead and just do a little recap of, of showing me, uh, me copping the shoes from a local reseller. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the studio and uh, we'll take it up from there. So I pretty much will just review them with you guys. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll back over to what's going on currently. So. Okay, so now that we're back here in the studio, I wanna go ahead and get into the first pair uh, that you guys already seen in the video. But guys, the, this shoe is already like, I'm telling you, it's one of my favorite releases of this year. Super, super dope. The whole thought, the process, the execution of this uh, collaboration was a 10 out of 10 for me. We have this Nike box that has the whole uh, concept thing going on. So if you guys look at the details, I'm telling you, this shoe speaks highly of details. So starting with just the box, we have uh, like one of the patterns that come from the Nike Air Maxes. And then you have another pattern color that comes on the Nike swoosh. Uh, this is from the far out release and then this is from the heavy one and then we have like this whole hippie vibe people call it the Takashi Murakami theme but I say it's more of a hippie like I don't know why this like shoe or this entire collaboration reminded me of Scooby-Doo like literally the whole mystery game but the theme of this uh, uh, collaboration came from Woodstock the festival if you guys are you know history heads uh, Woodstock was a great music festival that happened way back in the 60s and our uh, concept was like hey we're gonna take that and just throw it on to our whole concept theme so uh, we do have concepts going on on the side of the shoe box right here and then on the back of it it does says our uh, concept again and another Nike and so starting off one of my favorites honestly this was the second uh, release of the concept uh, collaboration but these are the heavies I have not worn these yet or on DS them or anything that I wanted to share with you guys but these are the uh, concept heavy. These guys are freaking amazing. Like just check these out, man. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this with the whole camels on the toe box and going all the way up to the side with a denim. And then we have the, uh, on a Nike, we have like that, um, like color, it's like a little rainbow color going on. All the way we have the bandana on the side of it. And then on the back, we do have the Nike, 
uh, stamp right back there. Uh, hold on, I just want to go ahead and set these down because we're, we're just going to go dive a little bit deep, deep into it. But from what I've been told, there was not one detail missing from this collection. So if you guys pay attention to like the different, uh, like for example, the sole. The sole of the shoe has like this mud look to it. It actually comes from being at music festivals. You know, when you guys standing out there, if you guys ever been to a music festival, standing out there with thousands, thousands of people, it just gets super muddy. Well, they threw that on the sole, which I thought was a pretty dope detail. And then you have real denim actually going on on the shoe. Uh, real denim that's going on and then actually real leather as well. There's leather on the toe boxes here. And they do also give you uh, two extra set of laces. So you have this brown lace that's already set in there and then you have a white pair of laces and you have velvet each pair of these shoes come with velvet laces so this is the brown pair of uh, the velvet that we got and uh i just freaking love these man these are like one of the most coolest shoes i probably have seen in such a long time and it's the air max as well now what bugs people the most is like okay what are you gonna wear with this i have no idea i mean you could bring out the camel you could bring out the brown i mean i have seen kind of different styles of it so far on twitter on social media uh but i'm kind of like interested in what i'm gonna be wearing with this so i'm not sure what i'm gonna wear this uh to or when but just know this is definitely gonna be in a rotation sometime for summer um, but yeah, I want to go ahead and bring out these guys out for you. These are the heavy uh, Air Max's concept. Now, the, the first, the second shoe I want to show you guys uh, is the, I believe they're called Mellow. This is the uh, concept Mellow pair. This is actually the first pair that released. So um, if anybody was to remember uh, how the releases went, it went from one weekend was the Mellow, the next week was the Heavy, and then the third week was the uh, Far Out. So. I'm gonna go ahead and bring these guys out, but these are the uh, Constant Air Max's Mellow. This is the first pair to release. Comment down below what you guys think of these. I absolutely love these. These are actually pretty fire in my opinion. Uh, it does have like this kind of green going on around the toe box. You have this cow print and then you got velvet on the tongue, which is another thing that sticks out to me with another detail. And then we do get another, like I said, two extra sets of laces. You get the uh, red velvet and you get the white and then you get like this uh, burgundy that's already set in the little shoe. And then going around, I love like the, um, the, like the rainbow it has going on on the nike going around to the back you do have the nike stamp and I also forgot to mention guys they have like this unthreaded look kind of like an unfinished look to it it just it, it's screaming like woodstock guys i'm telling you like this whole hippie vibe what the, what people wore back then is super super cool i absolutely love it and then what i love about it is that each shoe comes with like this uh paisley uh, like the, the Daisley going on, well, P Daisley, what is that? The uh, Paisley look on the Nike swoosh that I thought it was really cool detail. Each shoe has that, so I'm really happy to see that on mine. But uh, yeah, this is a really dope co uh, collaboration, man. Like, I really love these. Um, this is maybe like the easiest pair to maybe to wear out of the three, just because it's not crazy too much going on, like the first pair that I showed you guys. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanna bring out as well about these, so the, I got these. Uh, with the heavies uh, the same day as you guys can see in the video and then moving on to the next release this guy I I think I grabbed these like the next week or the week after uh, From a reseller Adam if you're watching this. I really appreciate you guys uh, He pretty much pointed me to the guy who had my size and we did our exchange and we was able to go ahead and make a nice Smooth transaction over these but this is the concept uh, Air Max the far out now this box is super cool one of the coolest boxes I have probably gotten in my collection right now but this is a special package box that you only would get if you uh, won off the uh, concept Air Max uh, website or an in-store raffle so anybody who has this box had pretty much got them straight from concept this was only a concept release but I want to go ahead and start off with the uh, box itself. This is a big old bus. But the box of this is pretty much a big old bus. It says it has like the uh, uh, the um, windows and then you got the car lights right here. Turn it to the side. You have all the bus windows and it says uh, life and 
what's it? Uh, life and concept. And on the on top of it, it also says concept and a bunch of other writings as well. Going to the other side is a bus, and you got the back of the bus, which it says concept on the license plate. So I thought it was a super cool, super dope uh, package that we had gotten. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. This box pretty much opens up like this. Go ahead, open that up. Uh, all three shoes have the same box, guys. So this is the only one that's pretty different. It's like a box within a box. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this guy. Y'all seen the box, I'm gonna go ahead and open this out. So this shoe right here is probably the best one out of all three. Like everybody says, like it's a for sure a winner. This was the shoe that I actually saw like early releases on that I thought this was like the only shoe that was releasing. Didn't know it was all three. But this is the concept far out. Let me go ahead and put this box down right here. This is the purple one. Guys, this shoe right here, whew, beautiful, beautiful. This is the shoe that I saw LeBron James with and I was like, what are those? But little did I know this were concepts. But here we are, we have them in the collection. One thing I do wanna get into as well, um, when you get the um, special pocket, uh, special packaging from concept, you are supposed to be getting like a bandana, uh, a bunch of other accessories, a car refresher. Uh, there's also a like a record player disc as well. I I don't know why, but I got them from a, 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 for sure a verified reseller who got them straight from concept. I don't have any accessories, guys. Like it's pretty sad for me. I'm not tripping about it. I'm happy to have the shoe. But what was made? What made this spot? Uh, this uh, package so special was the extra accessories that he was supposed to be getting with it, and I unfortunately didn't get any of it. So, which sucks because I thought I was gonna get it, but it's okay. I got the shoe. I'm happy to have it. So, but this is the uh, Air Max. Uh, far out. We're gonna start off with the the eye biggest eye catcher is the purple bandana going around. And you have real denim, like I said, going all around the shoe on the toe box, going all the way all the way up to the tongue. We have real velvet right there, and also too a really dope um, um, little detail they added to all three shoes. I should have showed you guys, but each shoe comes with a guitar uh, a guitar pick. Every shoe comes with a guitar pick, and it's super dope. And I think this is actually a real guitar pick that you can actually use to play. Uh, so I thought it was a really dope detail. And you got the back of it, you got the Nike stamp. But I just think that this is like the hardest shoes ever. And of course, you got the Paisley uh, Nike going on inside of that. So. Oh my gosh, I just love these. I absolutely love these. I just received these in the mail, so I was like quick to unbox it. And uh, yeah, here we are. I love them, love them, love them. So I'm like I said, I don't know when I'm gonna wear these, but just know they're gonna be in rotation for sure. So these are pretty much the three shoes that I have recently gotten. Also too, I have some more shoes that are actually on the way. Um, but right now, I was like, I still don't have everything here in Michigan with me. Um, I'm gonna set these right here. I still don't have everything here in Michigan with me, so I have to go back and grab some more. But I do have two more shoes that I'm supposed to be getting that I'm really excited about. Guys, um, I also want to mention, I was able to hit on the Air Jordan 2 uh, Unions, but it's not my size. Now, okay, for a second, I just want to talk about this release. <sighs> Union releases are so, so whack. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it works good for some people, and it's the worst thing for others. And I'm in that group. Like I had the worst time collecting or collecting. I had the worst time trying to cop that shoe. Uh, I was trying to check out and I was uh, live or uh, watching uh, people on live trying to uh, check out as well. Uh, my boy Rafi collects. I seen him uh, check out like less than a minute. Shout out to him. But I was literally like right there with him and I couldn't just like check out. And I seen people like it's, it's a big thing right now, but I have seen people was able to uh, like get the transaction, but no confirmation. And people have like literally ran through the whole queue and everything like more than three times and Union has taken their money. So they'd be like, work, like have like over $900 uh, that's gone, but there's no shoes. So I know a lot of people are like bugging about that, um, but they did do a second like release like this morning of round two. I believe it was like around 9.30. Uh, Western time and for me it was 1230 and I was able to hit on the second uh, round but I got a nine and a half so it's not my size uh, I'm looking to get a grab a 12 so I'm debating on trying to, to do a straight trade with somebody if somebody's willing to do that or sell to turn around and buy my size 
so we're gonna see how that goes but they are gonna be uh, coming here so that is gonna be a different video we can kind of go into more details about the shoe so i'm really excited about that but you know what i am also gonna just show you guys a quick little tour of the new setup or not uh i am pretty excited about this so uh, there's stuff that's still supposed to be happening around here that i have not gotten through yet but i'm gonna go ahead and just take you guys along real quick Okay guys, so this is pretty much my new setup right here right now. Uh, I'm super excited about that. It's not finished yet. I have like one uh, panel that I have to do on this row and then I have to start the second, well third row going straight across. So I have these 3D panels. Uh, that I got off of Amazon, so I'm really excited about that. But yeah, this is pretty much a new setup. I might go into details about it later, but I have my monitor here for my gaming, and then my PC setup, I have my PS5, my PC, all of that stuff, all set up right here. So streaming will be coming soon in the YouTube Live, but I also wanna go ahead and get it to stuff. Guys, don't mind all this, this is my brother's stuff. Uh, it's a mountain of clothes on a pool table. Like, it's it's crazy. I'm not gonna get into, into it. This is not me, this is all my brother's stuff. This right here, I still gotta figure out. There's a bunch of shoes in here. All of my shoes are in here. And I got two, no, I'm sorry, three boxes still worth of shoes in here that I have to put up. So right now, Ikea doesn't have anything uh, in stock for me to do that, but all of this will be my shoe wall, like all of this. So there's a lot of shoes that I still have to put up. Uh, all of this currently is my brother's shoes. So these are all him. Like guys, my brother wears a size 15. It's crazy, dude. Oh no, actually, he's a 16 now, I wanna say. But all of this is his, but it's all gonna be taken down, all gonna be moved. I'm waiting for Ikea to get some stuff for me. Uh, all of this is basically trash right here. This is like basically my new basement. Right now, it's hecka dark over here. Sorry about that, guys. But my TV and everything's over here. My brother's old desk setup is over there. This is pretty much how it's gonna look. It's super crappy right now, but I'm gonna get it all together. And then over here is my stuff. So I have to work on that as well. This is my bathroom, my closet, all of that in there. I'm not gonna try to go in there because it's really messy guys right now. But yeah, so I'm really excited about this. I'm uh, really excited to take you guys on my new journey here. Uh, new sneaker pickups, you know, I'm back here where it all started for me. You know, this is uh, Michigan. This is Detroit, Michigan. So this is kind of like where it all began for me when I became a sneakerhead, where I started collecting. So it's gonna be really cool to be back here in a new city with my lady and making new memories here. And I'm really excited to bring you guys along with me. So on this video, if you guys liked what I copped me, so I'm really excited to be here and be back for you guys. New videos is gonna be coming, new content as well. And I just wanna say thank you guys again for all the love and all the uh, people that's been reaching out to me asking about how I've been. So I really appreciate that, guys. I really, really do. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for an event that I have uh, later on this uh, later on tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick back with you guys later. But uh, like I said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all be safe, have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.